Senator Ernst, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. General Milley, in the previous round, we established that the withdrawal achieved no security conditions other than uh, an unconditional withdrawal. We had to withdraw by a time certain, a date certain. Has the military, and these are yes or no questions, please, General Milley, has the military's task to defeat terror threats from Afghanistan gotten harder? Yes. Does the Taliban and its other terror partners have more ability to train and prepare in Afghanistan now that we've left? More ability, yes. Has President Biden or his policy staff provided any, any updated guidance or direction for countering terror from Afghanistan? Yes. Are we at a greater or lesser risk of terror attack from Afghanistan as a result of our withdrawal? Too early to tell. Too uh, early to tell. Yeah, I think we've got about, you know, to elaborate a little bit, <clears throat> we've probably got about six months here uh, to really sort this out to see which direction things are going to go. Um, it's not much time, but that's my personal estimate. It could be out to 12. Uh, and then we're going to have some indicators and warnings of what direction this is going to go. Um, but that's where I'd put it. In the previous round, um, and this is, is a, a comment, but in the previous round, each of you had admitted that your best recommendation was to leave a residual force in Afghanistan. Um, clearly, the president disregarded that opinion, that recommendation, that advice, and I do believe that this has left us less safe. A number of my colleagues have mentioned over the horizon, um, General McKenzie, you referenced the fact that we don't know yet how effective that will be. We don't have partners on the ground. We talked about the airspace that would have to be used um, for over the horizon capabilities. Um, there is still a terrorist threat in Afghanistan. Now, on August 20th, uh, President Biden had stated, uh, what interest do we have in Afghanistan at this point with al-Qaeda gone? Um, first, I, I didn't recognize that al-Qaeda was gone. Um, General McKenzie, is al-Qaeda gone? Senator, al-Qaeda is still it maintains a presence in Afghanistan. And uh, Secretary Blinken had said on August 22nd that the threat of terrorism metastasized out of Afghanistan a long time ago. General McKenzie, is there any terrorist threat in Afghanistan now? There is a, we see, what we see is ISIS newly rejuvenated with the prisoners that came out of Parwan and Polycharki prison. They're, re, you know, they're gathering their strength. We have yet to see how that's going to manifest itself, but we know for a certainty that they do aspire to attack us in our homeland. And we know the same for al-Qaeda. So that threat, it has met, metastasized and it is resident in other parts of the world. My, in my part of the world, though, it certainly is in Afghanistan. Yes, it has been reported that the top 22 officials of the new Taliban government are known associates of al-Qaeda, including five terrorists who were once imprisoned at Guantanamo Bay and 13 more who were sanctioned by the UN, the United Nations, as terrorists post 9-11. And I'm very alarmed, um, Secretary Austin, that your Undersecretary of Defense for Policy, Colin Call, claims there is a minimal threat. He called the terror threat from Afghanistan insignificant on a call with senators less than a month ago. Um, he's wrong. I think all of you would admit he's wrong. The FBI director even said that he was wrong last week. Um, he's in denial or he's lying. Um, I would hope that his testimony and comments are not indicative of your own thoughts. And if they are different, um, I just truly hope they are. Let's just leave it at that. Um, so if the Department of Defense can't get their lead policy official off the couch, which is where he told me he was um, during closed testimony, la testimony last week, that he was sitting on the couch. He didn't really care what General Miller's opinion was. Um, if that's the type of thought process that we put into decisions that are made at the Department of Defense with this lead policy official, maybe he needs to go back to the couch. 
Um, I do think that there is still a threat in Afghanistan. I think we all need to acknowledge that, recognize it. Al-Qaeda is not gone. I hope we all make that very clear to the president. And we will have to have additional discussions about over the horizon as things develop in the upcoming months. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Orange.